As a living simple minimalist, I try to live my life deliberately. No surprises. Learning how to stop buying stuff has made my life more enjoyable. Is buying stuff causing a problem in your life? If so I suggest you adopt an increasingly more deliberate approach to life that may diminish your impulses to buy stuff. More importantly, you have to get to the heart of your buying stuff problem. Why do we consider reaching for our wallet or credit card when we do? If you ever wondered how to stop buying stuff you don't need, join the club. Keep reading and find out how to stop buying stuff you don't really need. Why stop buying stuff? Without a why most will quickly lose direction and fail. Once you determine a why use it as motivation and a default position to propel you into success. Having a savings goal is a common motivator to help you stop buying stuff. But I suggest you develop something more in-depth and intentional. Getting to the root of the problem would be most helpful. Why are you buying stuff? How did buying stuff become your solution? How to stop buying stuff and changing your behavior became the remedy. Here are some of the benefits I enjoy because I learned how to stop buying stuff. I really did not need. I have more disposable income and freedom. You need to be very clear as to why you want to stop or you will not succeed. I have more time because I don't spend more hours working to pay for stuff, window shopping, or surfing the internet dreaming of stuff to buy. I stop comparing myself to others. I don't judge people or myself by what they own. I even enjoy more confidence because of it. How would learning how to stop buying stuff benefit you? How to stop buying stuff. Now that you have identified your motivation and your why let's establish the how. It's time to stop buying stuff we really do not need. What would you like out of life? What are some of your dreams? How would stopping buying stuff help you reach your goals? What is your priority? I do not believe you can have more than one priority, and would this help you realize it? For me, I was tired of being broke and living with stuff I did not need and no longer want to clutter up my living spaces. Most of it I did not remember buying or even weigh. I bought it. What is it for you? Follow some of these steps to learn how to stop buying stuff you don't really need. Learn what triggers you to buy stuff why do you keep buying stuff you don't need? Is it boredom? Are you trying to keep up with the Joneses? Whatever your triggers are, learn to recognize them, and when they occur so you can take steps to avoid them. Create savings goals. Creating a savings goal and realizing the benefits of success can be a great motivational tool you can use to help you stop buying stuff you do not need. Growing your bank account and disposable income can create more freedom in your life. That pile of junk can fund your freedom. Only shop when you need to. You are less likely to buy stuff the less you shop. Only shop when you need to purchase something. If you do not need it do not buy it. Ask yourself that simple question before you make a purchase. Do I really need to buy this? Create a shopping plan. We all have to shop. But we would like to avoid buying things we do not need. The best way to ensure we reach that goal is to create a shopping plan. You should create a shopping list way ahead of time. I love this time and money saving move because you are forced to be mindful and a deeper thinker about the purpose of every item you consider putting on your list. This makes life easier. Now all you have to do is stick to your shopping list to save time, money and ensure you don't buy things you do not need. If it does not add value to your life don't buy it. Be honest with yourself. If you have to make up excuses or rationalize with yourself don't buy it. Ask yourself. Will it really add value to my life? Do I really want this? Where will it be in six months or a year? Do not buy more of what you already own. Allow me to explain. Do not buy more of what you own, just in case. Do not upgrade things to the next latest and greatest just because. This may just be for me but I almost never fall for the buy one and get one for half price if I don't really need the second item. I do not want to waste time storing and managing all of those second items in my home. Hoping I use them, I do not need the new iPhone because the one I already own still does everything I need it to do. Try a capsule wardrobe. What is a capsule wardrobe? A capsule wardrobe is. Create a wardrobe of high quality items that mix and match well together to give the illusion of a larger wardrobe. This wardrobe should last years and help you to avoid shopping for unnecessary clothing or feeling the need to keep up with fashion trends. Pants, shirts, jackets, skirts, dresses, and the like can create a wardrobe that mix and matches so well together to create a huge wardrobe. Save time by getting dressed faster in the morning without having to think about what to wear. Just mix and match. Avoid going into debt. We all know better but sometimes we do it anyway.
Stop it. This has become a non-issue since I became a minimalist. Just be honest with yourself and don't try to rationalize a purchase that is not in your budget. The numbers do not lie. Use this knowledge base to eliminate debt. Create a support system. Life is better when you share it with people you care about and care about you. Find friends or family. You feel comfortable talking to about your goals and dreams. Celebrate your success and discuss your failures with them. Also, look for support online. You can always leave a comment for me here. Maybe I can help. Conclusion. Buying stuff you don't really need can be a simple annoyance or grow to become a major problem in the lives of many. If most of the stuff you buy that you really do not need ends up in a closet or storage unit in less than a year I hope you find value in some of my suggestions. If your house is busting at its seams or you are in debt because of buying stuff you really do not need. I hope you find value in my suggestions. Just remember if you are really struggling with this problem it can usually be overcome with a great mental attitude. Unfortunately, if you cannot stop buying stuff you do not need you should seek professional help. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on that subscribe button. Please visit the description to get even more life-changing information.